Okay. Oh, Ernie Hudson, hey. it's such a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for taking the time. Well, thank you. It's great to talk to you guys. Now, uh, you're uh, promoting a movie. It's called Gallows Road. It's available now, correct? DVD, iTunes, uh, video on yeah, demand. I think it's playing at a uh, limited, num- limited number of theaters, and it's also uh, on all the, um, you know, um, uh, yeah, iTunes and... And Pretty much any way well, you can get your hands on a movie. Right? Get it, so. <laughs> yeah, you know. well, why don't so, you tell um, us about that movie? Yeah, it's, it's a great movie. It's um, uh, a movie uh, dealing with, um, you know, the stories. Uh, me and my brother opened a, um, uh, a store, and there are, you know, people in the neighborhood who aren't happy, and, um, and an incident happens that's, um, that just totally devastates my world. And so the movie is really about, you know, how I don't want to say a revenge thing, but how do you how do you reconcile this awful event, and how it impacts the community, and um, and ultimately how do you sort of forgive and let go and move on with your your life? Sounds good. Um, yeah, yeah, that's probably not the best description, but <laughs> yeah, I get <laughs> we're catching <laughs> the know. vibe. We know we we got it. Now I got to say between. All of the projects you've been involved with, uh, you know, obviously uh, some of the marquee stuff being Ghostbusters, Oz, The Crow, a million TV shows. You just never get sick of being on set, do you? I love working. I mean, uh, you know, the one thing I love about the business is the work. What I don't love about the business is all the nonsense that goes on trying to get the work. And, you know, <laughs> right, right. That's the stuff that, that drives me nuts. But the work itself is, is yeah, I live for that. Do you have to audition still? Yeah, you know, you don't have to. You can always say no and sit at home. Right. But, um, <laughs> You're you obviously know, not sitting at home. Uh, no, I'm not sitting at home. So if there's something you really want to do, you kind of have to get in there and fight for it. And um, a lot of it doesn't make sense because I'm like, you know, you just told me you're a big fan of mine, so why am I standing here reading for you? Uh, but, who, who doesn't know what Ernie Hudson <laughs> brings to the table at this point? <laughs> That's my question, you know, <laughs> but uh, apparently they don't know. It's like, okay, will you read this? And sometimes I go, it's only a few lines. I mean, what do you mean to say here? It's like, whatever. Now, what if you th- want the job, you got to fight for it. you got to earn it. That's the problem. There's so many yeah. people gunning for every position uh, available. There's so few jobs and so many people who want them, right? That's right, yeah. No, when I came out to Hollywood, they said it was 100 people for every part. So, you know, how do you, you know, get them to give you the job? What do you find more interesting, film or TV work? I just like to work. <laughs> anything. You know? just, I, mean, just anything. I just want a job. You know? <laughs> well, Theater, <laughs> film, TV, animation, I don't care. Just, yeah, you just, do voice work, too. Yeah, I do, yeah. No, I, I, I love, I, you know, it's, it's discovering a character, finding little nuances, and um, especially when I'm free to do what I do as opposed to some director who just wants me to, to just to do some idea that he has. But right. when I'm really free to explore character it's it's like it's the coolest job in the world well which character of yours have you had the most fun playing in your career well there's probably i mean there's several the, the character in the crow i really liked i like that guy um yep. the hand of rocks the cradle there was something about him that um was sort of the best part of who i am the character in congo was like the coolest part of me you know yep. um the character in oz was just um you know, a guy in an impossible position, and um, yeah, that's and, you know, life would just suck every single day. <laughs> but right, um, there's something about yeah, each one is in my mind is a little different, and um, and that's what I love about the work. Now I've done a lot of shows where they just want me to you know show up and say the words, and that's the frustrating part of it. You want to be able to throw yourself into something, and and I'm glad that you mentioned that character in Oz. That it's really uh, you know you were part of. Kind of a revolution in television, that that being the first HBO original series and that character kind of being one of the original, really the whole show, blurring the lines oftentimes between good and bad and characters. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, I think it says a lot about, you know, life. I mean, who, you know, we're, we're all good and we're all bad, I mean, or well, potentially. Right. And, um, you know, and you think you, you make these judgments, but... The reality is there's a lot more involved than we're aware of, and I I thought that show did it very, very well. Now, obviously, uh, Ghostbusters fans are just diehard, and I know you've done some conventions, appearances, you've met a lot of fans, I'm sure. What is the funniest or strangest interaction you've had with a Ghostbusters fan? Oh, God, you know, (laughs) I I, I can't even begin to tell you, you know, from bathroom encounters to, you know, people... Busting in my stall, you know, is just um, 
people are, you know, tattoos with my name on it, with uh, my face on them. Um, you know, it's all, you know, um, yeah, it, it, I mean, I just, a lot of times when I do the conventions, you just open up the possibilities because anything can happen and usually does, and, and it's fun. <laughs> I sort of, you know, you just accept it, and it's all good, you know? But, you know, that's awesome. It's, you know, sometimes people, I think, when they're a part of a franchise like Ghostbusters, this has got such, I don't even want to say cult following, because it's a massive audience, but the, the followers of it and the fans of it that are uh, are diehard, I mean, they're converting their cars, they're they're changing, you know, they're going to conventions dressed up, and I love that you've embraced it. You know, some people would kind of shy away from it or say, like, look, I, I've done other things in my career, especially when you've got a resume like yours, but I love that you are just you welcome it and you become a part of it yeah you know well in, in a lot of ways i've never gotten or at least in my mind that that all-out love from the studios mm -hmm. and so i feel the the love and appreciation is from the fans mm -hmm. i mean the fans who watch the movies who see the work who you know i mean who actually see what you do because the studio's attitude is well you know you did that but that was two years ago and uh, why should we let you in our movie it's numbers and, to them uh, yeah Yes, there's not a lot of love there. So, yeah. but I get it from the fans, and I, I enjoy it. I have to ask, what do you uh, what do you think about the upcoming all female film? Well, you know, I think it's um, I think it's great that they're continuing the franchise. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's unfortunate that we didn't do more earlier because it would have made a big difference in my bank account. <laughs> um, you know, but um, but we didn't, and I think it's great for this new generation, especially for young girls. You know, this all girl. Is a little different take. Uh, I read the script. It's a very funny script. And, um, you know, yeah, I, I, I think it's a, a great idea. I'm glad they're doing it. So you uh, you read the script. Does that mean that uh, there's a possibility that you'll make an appearance or a cameo of some kind? Well, you know, I tell fans, and I really have to be fair to the studio, they did ask. Mm -hmm. They did come to me, and, um, and so it's still a possibility. I just want them to ask nicer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, what are you working you know what I mean? on now, too, Ernie? I'm sorry. Right? What are you working on now? If you're not going to be well, doing I, Ghostbusters or haven't gotten yeah, that, I do the I do a series uh, called Grace and Frankie. Um, I did a couple episodes last season. It just came out on Netflix, and uh, now we're into the yeah, second season. Yeah, Yeah, and that's fun. Um, but um, yeah, so we're shooting that now, and you know, I just uh, I just stay busy. You know, The Gallows Road is a, a film that was a kind of a labor of love, and you know, I'm really you know, happy about that. Yep. Uh, there are a couple other films in the can that's waiting to come out, and uh, I just uh, give thanks and feel very blessed. Well, we'll be uh, we'll be looking for you, and based on your uh, your track record, it won't be too hard to find you in something very soon. You're <laughs> uh, you're a very very busy guy, and I hope that you continue to uh, you know stay busy. Gallows Road available uh, everywhere uh, you can get any way you consume movies, whether it's iTunes, DVD, Amazon video on Prime. demand. All of that stuff, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe we'll see you on a, uh, uh, you know, with a little appearance in the upcoming Ghostbusters reboot. That's right, yeah, I, I, let's hope so. I got, I got my fingers and toes crossed, so we'll see. Uh, it's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for your time. Great talking to you guys. Take care. Take care.